What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today I am bringing you an episode I haven't brought you in a while actually It's the they think it's all over I actually built this team like months ago Did the games it all corrupted and I just completely forgot to ever redo it And it is the man that's on your thumb now and it is the man that's on uh, in the team right now It is Lissandro Lopez legendary Argentinian striker You know a great great striker especially um Whilst he's playing in the French League. Obviously, he's very well known on FIFA. Considering, in fact, he's, what, 1983, which makes him 34, I think. He's got himself an inform this year playing for a racing club in the Argentinian League. So, he's gone back home uh, to, you know, where, where he started himself, started his career. But we'll, we'll, we will get into him in a minute. And again, it's a 3-4-2-1. You guys know me. I, I like this formation. I think it's a good formation. And in goal, we go with the... Hero Guzman from uh, Chicles in the Mexican League. 82, 82 diving, 85 reflexes, 81 handling, 83 positioning, 6 foot 4. For 20k, honestly, this guy is an absolute beast. I love him. I think he's one of the best goalkeepers on this game. Just because he's so cheap, he's so, like, so amazing. Plus, I mean, look at the stats. Sorry, look at the, um, look at the price even. 20k. Like, nothing. At Absolutely nothing. We'll go across our three centre backs, and we first want to go over to uh, in the middle. We'll pop him in. It is another Lissandro Lopez. On the left hand side, it is the 82 rated Giardel, and on the left hand or right hand side, sorry, we go for a silver 72. When I find him, he is there, and it is Meza. We'll start off with the silver guy. Francisco Meza from Ciglitz, obviously getting that strong link to the goalkeeper. 68 pace, 73 defending and 70 physical. Not the best pace, but with his low high work rates, he really helps out. And he sits back very nicely, helps out with the defence, obviously like he should do. Uh, in the middle we go for another Lissandro Lopez. This one is a centre-back playing for Benfica. 69 pace, 84 defending and 84 physical. 6 foot 2, medium high work rates. Just 19k, so a nice and cheap centre-back. And we go for Jardel. It says he only played one game because I accidentally got rid of the original one in a SBC and didn't actually realise until I went to play with this game again. That's when I played with this team again. 63 pace, 84 defending and 82 physical. 6 foot 4, medium high work rates. So a great defensive um, part, well, great great defense with the work race all got high defensive and they are all absolute absolute beasts left mid we go for a brazilian silver by the name of seba and on the right side we go for a colombian from the celly r and that is uh upgraded juan quadrado 72 pace 88 dribbling 76 shooting 75 passing 5 foot 10 high medium work rates obviously three star for and the five star skill moves only got two assists in the um Six games he did, play, but obviously he's playing as like a right wing back, helping out the defence. Seba did brilliantly at this. He's got high, high work rates, which really helps me out. 86 pace, 74 dri uh, dribbling, 74 shooting, 76 physical, 5 foot 10. Free star with a free star skill moves. Absolute beast. I absolutely, re well, I absolutely enjoyed working with this, well, working with this guy, playing with this guy. You know, you know what I'm on about, guys. He was absolutely fantastic. Two sentiments are both Argentinian and both non rare. We've gone for Cambiasso, who probably will have his own video. And we also go for Paredes. Um, 72 base, 78 dribbling, 66 shooting, 68 defending, 79 passing, and 72 physical. 5 foot 10, medium, medium work rate. He's got himself four star skillers and four star weak foot. So he's a nice, skillful player to have in the middle to obviously complement the hard working. Esteban can be Asso, 72 dribbling, 72 shooting, 74 defending, 74 passing, 72 physical, 5 foot 10, high high work rates, 1 assist in the 6 games, he is brilliant at, out on this game, stamina is shocking, but the rest of him, the rest of the stats and the rest of his gameplay is fantastic, left will we go for a um, Argentinian obviously to get the strong link to Lissandro Lopez, uh, which is a Costa and a right forward we go for the uh, I believe it's the upgrade or it could be just base guard Mohamed Salah 92 base 86 dribbling 73 shooting and 71 passing 5 foot 9 medium high uh, sorry high medium work rates 4 star with 4 star score rates, 5 goals and 2 assists in 6 games which is a fantastic return from a right forward in my opinion left forward we go for uh, Lataro I think his first name is Acosta 93 pace 80 dribbling 71 shooting and 70 passing 5 foot 7 high low work rates 4 uh, 3 star and 4 star skill moves 3 goals and 2 assists in 6 games so again contributed quite well main main goals obviously was all the front 3 and the rest of them did chip in when they felt like it but on to the main man 
onto Lissandro Lopez. 80 pace, 81 dribbling, 83 shooting, 77 passing, and 78 physical. He is 5 foot 9, high medium, uh, sorry, high high work rates. 4 star week for 4 star scrims, and yet she got himself 7 goals in 6 games, which is a very, very nice return. Um, he recently, obviously, turned, just turned 34 years old uh, on the 2nd of March. And I'm just having a look at his previous clubs. Um, started his career, obviously, at racing clubs, so he's gone back there to finish off his career. Um, 2001 is his, you know, when he started playing football when he was only, oh my god, maths is not my strong point, 18? I think he was, yeah, 18? We got, yeah, I think 18, I'm right. Um, he then made a, um, that was his youth career. Then made him jump up to the, um, obviously the, the first team for Racing Club with 70 appearances with 26 goals. Made a big transfer over to Porto um, for only 2.3 million as well, which is funny. Um, you know, it's such a cheap price for a player at, at, at back in 2005. 106 games played there with 49 goals, spanning four years. Then jumped over to Lyon in the French League. Um, you know, Benzema was sold, so they brought in uh, Lopez to cover him for 24 million euros. Um, he was over there for another four years, uh, 119 goals in, sorry, 119 appearances, 59 goals. He then went over to Al Garafa, who I believe is a, are they Saudi? Are they, oh, no, they're a Qatari league team, uh, 2013 to 2015, 40 games with their 13 goals. Then had a stint for a year at Internacional, 24 games and four goals. And obviously he's playing at Racing Club. He's been there since 2016, uh, 24 games and 10 goals. So obviously he has had a very, very successful um, domestic career. On to his, well, we're going to have a quick look at his, um, obviously, his honours when it comes to playing for his international team. And he did actually, hold on, let me find it for you. Bear with me. Internationals, he was, I can't find it. I can't find his international career. I don't, I actually genuinely think he only played one international game for uh, Argentina. Which, would, yeah, no, he played, made seven appearances, got himself one goal. Between 2005 and 2009, which is weird to see someone only play for the national team for four years. So he must have obviously, um, must have obviously been, um, you know, must have retired. But then when you look at the Argentinian team, you can understand why that that you know that's why. But you know, Lissandro Lopez is a great player. You'll see from the clips at the end, which are on their way, which means this video, well, me talking, has come to an end. Um, please enjoy the clips at the end of the video, guys. As always, links down in the description below to Twitter and Instagram. Go down there, drop me a follow, drop a like on the video, drop a sub if you're new around here. But until next time, guys, have an awesome day, and I shall see you all later. Bye. Now I'm swallowed Now I'm the fool while you're breaking rules Dangerous path that I follow oh, Go on, just do what you do Do it.
what you do And it happens 